everyone, welcome to video 5 from this series from Lost Ocean by Johanna Bassford and um, using Studler Design Journey pencils. Um, we are going to be doing this um, stripy fish here today, so I'm just going to come in closer. Let's move the book up a little bit. Oh, my camera's decided to be really slow. There we go. Right, we're going to do purple today, sort of violets, I guess. So number six is our violet, and we're going to start with that. Now we have our fins and tail. Now the top fin has a stripe in it, as does the tail. The bottom one doesn't. It's small. I'm actually going to ignore the stripe and just um, just cover. So I'm thinking we could do something a little bit different with this one. We could make it darker at each end. I have got quite a sharp pencil, so a bit of dark colouring at each end, a bit lighter in the middle, and it gives our fin, hopefully, the look that it's got a bit of a shine. I can do the same on the bottom one. I don't know that the bottom one would catch the light in the same way if it, he was swimming in like a normal ocean, but he's not, is he? He's, uh, he's in a mandala. So rules don't apply. Not that it matters when you're colouring anyway. I'm going to do the same with the tail. So a light layer across all of it. And then a little bit at each end. tricky in such a small space. I'm going to layer up a bit more near the body but uh, I'm doing my best. That's all I can do. Now we are going to the 62. This I think is lavender. Yeah it's lavender and we're going to do part of the stripes. So I think I want, we've done most of our faces quite light so I'm going to do the face light in my next shade which is lighter so do the eye in this color well around the edge it's quite hard it's so small it's going to get even smaller and here I'm going to fade towards the center like we did on our other stripy fish um, a couple of days ago so layer up on the edge I'm turning my pencil to try and find a sharper tip because it's easier to get a um, more colour out on a sharp pencil. So just fading towards the middle. Same here. Just taking it nice and slowly because it's not a huge space so I need to make sure that I don't put too much pressure in the middle and get it too dark and I find it easier to do that more accurately if I'm slow. I mean, I'm probably still really fast, to be fair. Slow for me. I'm impatiently fast. At life. <laughs> that sounds like I'm impatient to die. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm just um, want to get a lot of stuff done. <laughs> this is 602. It is the pastel violet. I'm going to fill in the rest. I'm going to try and use the same technique. I don't know how well it's going to work with this pastel -y colour, but I'm going to try. I think it's going to work, actually. Yeah, I like to do lots. I like to achieve lots. So uh, I'm always doing stuff. It's good. It, make, it makes me happy. I don't get stressed. You know, some people I know, if they have too much on the go, ah, but not me. But I haven't got lots on the go, to be fair, at the minute. So uh, that's fine. I am actually have freed up a bit of time because at the moment my family needs me to help them with a few different various things. So I'm making sure that I'm available for them. So uh, the boys have got um, exams coming up and 
things like that. Husband is finding work a bit stressful. I'm going to go back and redo all of these because they're not neat enough for my liking. Husband's very stressed at work, so I'm trying to make sure that I can reduce any stress at home. Um, I'm being very careful to... There are things that need doing, so I'm trying to give him one thing a day or asking him when he wants to do things and things like that to help him with planning so that he's not overwhelmed by too much at home. Like this morning he booked up the car to have the tyres um, um, changed because they're bold. Now we've gone down to jelly roll 8. Now we were using 10 for these but because our fish is shrinking I think our pen needs to shrink. Okay, I'm going to get my five as well to do the smaller rows. But I think this will be okay for this one. Ian, he's got to sort out and some appointments and uh, oh, he had to do some bankingy stuff yesterday, which he did. And the day before, he had to fix the dishwasher, which was an unexpected thing. But he said I helped him, but I didn't. I just sat there and stayed calm and. You know, but we fixed it, which was good, and saved some money. Well, what I did was I told him it wasn't working. He had a fiddle with it. He said, it's probably this. Oh, no, it isn't. And he found a loose piece in it. So um, he looked up what it was and said it needs fitting back in this space, but it's fiddly. And I said, well, why don't you stop and have your meal and then come back to it? when you've eaten so you're not starving so he did that and so he took it slowly because he knew that the piece might break if he lost his temper with it um, or um, you know or just pushed it too hard or was impatient so he did it really slowly and I just stayed there and just helped him um, we ba I bailed out some of the water so that we could see because the little drain bit in the bottom was full of water so I took that out for him and things like that and we got there and we he fixed it and I was really proud of him for doing it and staying calm and saving us hundreds of pounds so that was uh, for getting a new one I mean we know we'll have to get a new one eventually but we weren't didn't want to anyway I've talked long enough and finished my fish ages ago and half of you have switched off anyway uh, <laughs> but uh, that is me for today our little fish I've got a scaly fish tomorrow I've got an idea I usually do these always in the same way try something different exciting so i haven't chosen a color yet though so i shall do that in a minute and uh, and i shall um hope to see you here tomorrow um or maybe on my later video today as well but hoping that you have a super day um have some fun i hope and uh, enjoy yourself and uh, thank you for watching and happy coloring